Hi Alexander, this is Jenny from Sacramento, California. You play the role of Eric in a very understated way. Why is that? And what's the one thing that people don't understand about your character? All right, Jenny, I played the role of Eric uh, kind of low key because um, he's very confident and um, he doesn't have to be loud. Loudness is just loudness, it's not power. And, and uh, he, uh, he knows what he wants and how to get it. So he doesn't have to raise his voice. That's why he's very, um, he's very focused. And, and plus I believe in that kind of acting in general. I, I think uh, um, gestures too, if you like too much uh, gestures or, or too much loudness will just dilute the part uh, the way uh, water does to good wine. And uh, one thing that people sometimes, uh, sometimes people think that Eric is, they, what they want him to be the bad guy or like, oh, so you're the, the evil, the evil, the evil vampire. And I, uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. I think it's more complicated than that. I, I don't, in general, I don't believe in, in good versus evil. I think people are and are more complicated than that. My second question is, you play a 1,000 year old vampire in the series. Have you thought about what experiences the vampire has gone through to bring him to this point in the series? So, um, yeah, Jenny, Eric was born uh, a 1,000 years ago in, in Sweden. He was a Viking back then. And, and um, obviously when I was doing research, I was, you know, there's a lot to play around with and it's kind of fun uh, as an actor to, to, there's a lot of opportunities. He's been around for a millennium. so. Um, first, we were kind of talking about having a, a strong Scandinavian accent, but I didn't want to go that way because I believe that since he's been around for so long, he probably speaks 20, 15, 20 languages fluently. So um, he's a bit of an entrepreneur. He's been around the world, and, uh, and I believe that he's been in Louisiana for, for quite a while and uh, running um, different sorts of operations and businesses. and. And but he's he's definitely he's, he definitely has a lot of lot, lots of experience. My last question is: Creator Alan Ball is famous for Six Feet Under. What is it like to work with him? Is there any advice that he's given to you about the role you play in the show? Well, uh, Jenny, Alan is um, is is an amazing human being. He's he's very creative and and super intelligent. And 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 one thing that's that's great about this project is. We're working on this project is that he's uh, so dedicated he loves it so much and and you would think that that's always the case when you work with with people and but it really isn't sometimes when you uh, people are in the business for other reasons or work on specific projects for other reasons but Alan is he loves this project so much and all the characters so he's uh, he's so devoted and he's very very hands-on he's always around on set or not far away, so you can always talk to him and ask him about stuff. So it's um, it's been a fun first season, yeah. Hi, Alex. This is Micah from Boston. The vampires in the show look very real. Do you share any common character traits with them? Yeah, Micah. I uh, I think I do. I I believe that um, every I I I'm always myself in a way when I when I when I uh, when I act, and I believe that you have to. Um, it has to be born inside of you, uh, of you as an actor, and and I think that you, as a human being, you have all the elements of, of different characteristics, good and bad. So it's just a question of finding those, and and uh, and and then playing, finding those and tuning them, and also finding a, a level of, uh, well, what kind of circumstances you play and and what your objectives are. That's what's different about it. So so yeah, um. My answer is yeah. I basically play myself on the show, and um, there are certain things that are easy that, that I don't have to dig f hard to find in myself. Like uh, he's very stubborn, Eric, and, and I'm quite stubborn as well. And then there are other things that will that you know you have to uh, search harder to find. But but you will all you will always I could never play anything that I can't find within myself. My second question is, there's a lot of sex and violence on the show. I'm wondering what your feelings are regarding this, and has there been any scenes where you've been hesitant in filming? And finally, has there been any scenes that have made you pause for a moment? No, Micah, I did not hesitate at all. I, uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm Scandinavian, goddammit. Like, <laughs> we're, uh, we love to be naked. It's, uh, yeah. Actually, I, it was kind of liberating because I've done, worked on movies and stuff before where people come with contracts, 20 pages of like, you can show this nipple from this angle, but not that one, and two seconds of, I did not grow up in, in that kind of uh, movie climate, and it's quite different in Sweden. Um, so uh, if, I, I, don't, I don't mind it at all. Nudity is great. My last question is, what's the atmosphere like on the set? And what is the strangest thing that's happened to you during shooting? Uh, yeah, Mike, it's, um, it's, been, it's been fun. It's been, um, we're, having, we're having a lot of fun working on, on True Blood. It's, uh, it, the cast is great. We're, uh, um, lots of night shoots. It, it, it feels like summer camp sometimes. Cause we have, it's, it's a good group of people. Some weird moments, like the first time we used uh, fangs was quite difficult because um, you're obviously supposed to be very, like when you show your fangs, it's a moment of, you're supposed to be pretty menacing at that point, but it's hard because you can't really speak with those. It takes some time to practice that. Um, so you don't really sound cool when you put them in and you go like, oh, I'm going to kill you. Um, and my favorite scene was probably when we shot the tribunal. Um, it felt like I was in a Michael Jackson video or something. And that was fun. Hi Alexander, this is Shala from New Haven, Connecticut. With the success of True Blood and Twilight coming out, there seems to be a new fascination with vampires. Why do you think people are so obsessed with them? And do you have a favorite vampire portrayal? Um, Alright Shala, I think the reason that it's happening right now might be because uh, over the last decade there's been tons of zombie movies out there and, and uh, Maybe people are ready for something more sophisticated, and 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 I also uh, I I I think there, it has to do with um, you know people are fascinated. It's immortality and uh, and uh, dangerous attraction, and fatal attraction, and I think that those are topics that that, that scare people and and uh, but also attracts them. My last question is that you've been voted Sweden's sexiest man many times. What's the experience like? Is it like being voted People Magazine's sexiest man alive? And do you find that you sometimes get typecast because of that? Um, yeah, shall I, I guess it's kind of like People's Magazine and that kind of thing. And um, yeah, it's kind of complicated because of course it's flattering. Um, and uh, but. The downside is, yeah, there, there's, there's, um, when it first, the first time it happened, I suddenly I got all these scripts where you, you just you play the the, the, the hunk, the good-looking guy, the the love interest, and and I was very, I, I, I wanted to. Um, it's important for me not to be typecast or to end up making, you know, playing the same character over and over again. So. That was a bit of a problem in a couple of years ago in Sweden, or, or seven, eight years ago, I would say. But I, I, I made sure that I turned those jobs down and, and, and found projects that, are, that, that, that were more character-driven, I guess, and to show that I could play other things than just like the love interest or something like that.